Well, there's a new kid on the Wall Street block, a new Fed boss called Jerome Powell. Banks, the bank's inquiry, even the Greens don't want the inquiry. What's going on there? BHP and healthcare stocks in the news. I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Rickard. And, and we're, we're mad, mad about, about money. money. Paul, let's talk about Wall Street first of all. A nice rise for our market today. We should go head up pretty well. What's behind it? Well, two things, Peter. Obviously, tax reform. The uh, Senate uh, committee passed a, got through the pr- the process. Got through the, one of the Senate committees, which mm. means there's more chance of getting it through the Senate. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, targeted possibly for Thursday when the vote might happen. So the market like that, but also uh, the new the new Fed governor mm. uh, in congressional hear- hearings. Mm. Uh, the market seems to like what he's got to say. Yeah, I, I guess we all became uh, aware of Janet Yellen. Never heard of her before until she got the job. And along comes Jerome Powell. He's a Trump selection, but they, they're kind of... He was appointed by Obama and the market liked him. I, I know before the tax news came out, Wall Street was just going up, up, up on everything he said. And he looks like he's the kind of guy that will we'll probably follow the interest rate rises, but if inflation is not there and wages aren't rising quick enough, it kind of implied that he'll slow down the, the interest rate rises. Yeah, I mean, look, I think, we, I've said before, I think Wall Street's going to rally into Christmas, Peter. I mean, this looks, does look like the makers yeah. of a Santa Claus rally. The markets are pretty, getting a little euphoric, that's yeah. always a bit dangerous, but no signs at the moment they're going to pull back, so dips are going to be bought and they're going to keep rallying it. So yeah. that's got to be good for our market. You think we'll, we'll stay above 6,000 the day mm. after. And the last couple of days have been a little on the disappointing side. Bring on the Santa Claus, mate. Bring on the Santa Claus. Yeah, bring on the Santa Claus. I mean, that, that's a good lead into banks, Peter. We did want to talk yeah. about. Not, I think one, two things. Hey, big banks were the best sector in the US last night, so mm. more through the fact that the... Associated with the tax reform is some, it was, is some work going on to a bit of deregulation to make mm. it easier for banks to compete over there. But uh, look, underperforming here in Australia with the bank inquiry, look, I don't know, the Greens sort of say they don't want it, not their inquiry anymore, they don't get the credit, who knows? Well, it's not tough it. enough for them. Well, not, <laughs> who knows whether it's not tough enough. Look, they I want guess, to bring them down to ground zero I, I and guess, start again. I guess our banks probably have... It haven't, hasn't been a great performance the last four weeks or so. I reckon there might be due for a bit of a rally because yeah. we'll probably take the lead from the US. Um. Well, let's face it, they've been terrorised since really the May budget. You know, there was uh, the bank levy, then SA wanted to put their own separate bank levy yep. in. Uh, we've had the calls for the Royal Commission and they've made a lot of mistakes as well. So there's a whole lot of things going on. But I think the bank share prices would be under pressure if a Royal Commission was called. Do you think so? Yeah, I think we're going to commission, but again, I, with you, I think that's a bit of a buying opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I think the de- the impact is so long term, if any, uh, and it really depends where the inquiry goes. Whether it just you know actually comes up with recommendations that a government could possibly mm. curtail their mm. power or their or their I should say their market power. But look, um, I, I think this, these things are so far down the track. Um, they're probably a better opportunity to buy it. Okay, and you're concerned that healthcare stocks, the ones you really like, is it getting too well, pricey? Well, I've just, I've been right about this today, but look, the healthcare stocks just keep on going at a new highs of Cochlear and CSL yesterday. Well, we, we have recommended we them. Have, we have, we have. And, and, and I think it's just a fact of, apart from, look, obviously there are some t- great tailwinds. They are terrific companies, you know, uh, CSL, Cochlear, ResMed, all global leaders in their own fields, mm. very small fields, but in their own fields. But I think it's a sign of the market kind of combined. The top of the market is growthless, mm. and the market's desperate to buy anything with a bit of growth attached to it. And their, their stocks are growing. Uh, even Ramsey's come back. There are a few people who are trying to short sell that. You know, it's now back up to towards sixty-nine dollars. You've got to stay long these stocks. Do you get in now? And probably not. No. Do you take profits? Well, I reckon you just got to hang on because mm. uh, as much as I like to say take some profits, I mean, you never go wrong taking a profit, but the other adage is let your profits run. At the moment, this mm. market just keeps wa- wanting to buy I think the saying is you never get broke taking profit. You can be wrong taking well, profit yeah, if it okay, goes never, really yeah, hard. You're right. I think you never go broke. You ask can, the Bitcoin people. But to ask ask the Bitcoin people. But <laughs> uh, look, again, I think you just got to let it run and, mm. uh, and stick with it and watch it. If Quickly, anything. BHP before, before the bell rings. Yeah, look, an interesting discussion from BHP yesterday about productivity, what it can do to take out more costs. Actually, a really good presentation that has set out all the sort of Australian mineral assets and what it gets out of each, each yeah. of the different mines. Worth looking at, it's on their website. Uh, Will the share price go up today? No, well, I think it might. I mean, it didn't yesterday because of iron ore price. There mm. wasn't a lot of new news, but they do plan to take out some more costs. And they mm. say that they should get their iron ore 
uh, cost down to $13 a tonne, to currently at $14.60 a, a US a, a, a tonne. So look, I mean, they're working hard, trying to do the right thing, unfortunately not yet getting too bullish about the market. Okay. Imagine if the world started loving uranium again. They yeah, well, money when, when BHP and Rio think about acquisitions, that's probably the time to think pretty hard about whether you want to be in those companies. But at the point. moment, they're still very much focused on, on cost and discipline and trying to get more out of their existing assets. Exactly right. Well, I'm Peter Switzer. I'm Paul Ricard. And we're mad about, about money. money.